Welcome back. You're watching News Center. Per no record, India will continue to make consistent investments to achieve its goal of tripling sales by 2033. That's the word coming in from the company's CMO, Kartik Mohindru. Speaking to CNBC TV18's Shivani Bazaz, Mohindra also said that the Alcobev company is looking to bet on India's growing demand for premium products. They also see a big jump in uh, demand for Scotch whiskey, especially premium Indian Scotch whiskey brands. Well, yes, uh, we've recently completed 30 years in this uh, in this country, and uh, I think the success that Pernod Ricard has enjoyed has been tremendous. Uh, and we do believe that uh, in 30 years, we've now become part of the fabric of the Indian consumer's life. And uh, celebrating our momentous 30-year journey uh, and keeping a close watch on the trends, uh, here is the launch of our very own and first Indian single malt by the name of Longitude 77. Uh, we're seeing the top end of whiskies and many players dabbling with Indian single malts and um, the time is perfect for us to put our offering forward. Um, uh, Kathik, very good observation about whiskies and single malts because uh, premiumization in this segment has increased. Uh, some of the data points from the industry are astounding. 48% growth when it comes to premium whiskies. Uh, can you tell me more about the consumer base in this segment? What are the kind of trends that you are looking at? The younger consumers are wanting to dabble with uh, various product categories, various occasions. And very interestingly for us uh, is that the, uh, the women cohort is also uh, you know, getting uh, serious traction from an Alcobev standpoint. You know, there are many products and categories that uh, are you know, targeted towards them, keeping their palates in mind and the race preferences. Of course, many of them love single malts as well. And yeah, so we're seeing a lot of growth coming uh, from that category as well. So, you know, all in all, from a marketing standpoint and business standpoint, great times. The group aims to uh, triple the revenue in a couple of years. How do you see that? What is the kind of growth plan? What are the investment plans for the group in India? Um, yes, we do have an ambition to triple, but that's uh, a much wider time frame that we're looking at. It's the 2030 sort of a vision that we have. And again, uh, riding on uh, what I mentioned, I think um, India remains a powerhouse market for virtually every category that there is in the world. Alcobev is no less. Uh, it's growing steadily. The top end is, is, is doing very well, as you rightfully mentioned. And we hope to capitalize on this growth organically, but we also want to innovate behind new categories, meet the ever-changing consumer demand uh, or needs you said revenue growth till 2030 to triple. What is the kind of investments we are looking at? Well, uh, so again, uh, being, as you rightfully said, being one of the uh, biggest markets for the group, uh, in order for us to meet this demand as we've envisaged, there will be through and through consistent and accelerated investments, perhaps, to be able to sustain this growth. And it's, it's a given. Uh, we won't be able to capture it without that investment. And you'll hear a lot about that in the in the months to come as we start gearing up with that